Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, today uh, DJI released a firmware update for the Mavic Mini. Uh, it is upgraded to version V01.00.050.0. It says that it optimized remote controller performance and it tells you to calibrate the remote controller if it's beeping after updating the firmware. And I will put the, these uh, notes up on the screen here, a screenshot. Uh, it added manual exposures for videos, requires DJI Fly version 1.0.8 or later. So if you haven't updated your app, you're going to want to do that. And of course, that's the big one that everybody has been waiting for is manual exposure on videos. Uh, for myself, they call me Mr. Automatic. So. Uh, uh, just that exposure value change was really good for me but I know a lot of more professional photographers have been asking for that so so I'm glad it's there uh, and then they added a couple of more frame rates so in 2.7 K you can go to 24 frames per second in 1080p you can go to 24 and 48 frames per second uh, if I understand it correctly, that's important. A lot of filmmakers, 24 frames per second is kind of standard in the United States for, for filmmaking. I, I believe they in the Europe they use 25 frames per second quite a bit. Uh, so if that's important for you, you get that. And that all also requires the DJI Fly app version 1.0.8 or later. Uh, and then the uh, manual white balance adjustment that was on that uh, the app update earlier that DJI Fly 1.0.8 uh, and we've actually looked at that before and and that's the one that I quite frankly I would use the most personally uh, and then it says they've improved download speed for photos and videos improved flight stability in some scenarios who knows exactly what that means added support to adjust operation frequency in Ukraine so I'm sure if you're in Ukraine that's important uh, but anyway let's walk through the uh, update here real quick okay we've got the drone and the controller fired up let me go into the uh, fly app here so it's asking me for a, a fly safe uh, update so I'm gonna go ahead and update that so we're downloading the FlySafe uh, update and uh, I've got a nice message here in uh, in Chinese. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> yeah, so whatever that message was, I clicked off of it. I have no idea what I clicked on there. Okay, the drone is telling me that it updated the FlySafe database, uh, and that took uh, a little bit of time. That probably took, uh, gosh, all of uh, between five and ten minutes to do. So it is not showing a, a update for me, and I know one is available today. So we're going to go into Go Fly, and I am going to go in and look at. Uh, uh, into the menu here and see if we can look at about and uh, look at our aircraft firmware and indeed it is telling me that we are on 01.00.0400 and we are looking for 0500 so uh, uh, let's uh, click on the check for updates and it says checking version and it says firmware available so that's interesting that I had to force that update so let's click update and yeah here we go so that lists everything I just told you I'm gonna click on update and it's already installing that took just a few seconds for that uh, download not very long at all so let's see how long it takes it to install here
Okay, uh, I powered the aircraft back up and it's uh, which it told us to do on screen there. So uh, let's see if we can get connected here. Okay, so we're back into the uh, the app, the mini app. Okay, so we're on the main screen of the GoFly app. Let's go in and see if we can see what's changed here. All right, so we're on the app here, and if we leave it in auto, it looks like we still have the regular EV. And uh, but if I change it. So if I switch it into manual, uh, you can see I have manual adjustment there, and it's definitely darkened everything up in this room. So uh, yeah, we would want to uh, uh, let me see. Let me mess around here with the ISO here. Let's move the ISO up uh, to more of a low light configuration, and look at that—it brightened it right up. Uh, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I I'm not a camera expert. A lot of other uh, many flyers are but it looks like we have a range from 100 to 3200 on the ISO and shutter speed all the way from very low 130th all the way up to wow way up there 1 8000th so you have a big range of, of shutter speeds there. So yeah, so you have that option and uh, I know that's going to be welcomed by a lot of uh, professional videographers and, and amateur videographers as well. Uh, I have always uh, been happy with the automatic set settings and then uh, tweaking the EV a little bit, but I know that helps people that use filters, etc. So I'm glad they offered that to us. So when we go, click on the film strip at the top there and we go into video mode here, we look at uh, 2.7K and we do indeed have that 24 frames per second frame rate available. I typically uh, shoot in 30, uh, but I know that that is a cinematic, that 24 frame rate fra uh, frames per second frame rate is uh, something that a lot of filmmakers use and a lot of people ask for that. My understanding is, is that 25 frames per second is more of a European second, uh, setting. So let's go down to uh, 1080p and yeah there again we have a lot of settings there all the way from 24, 25, 30, 48, 50 and uh, 60 frames per second. My understanding is the 48 and the 24 were the ones that were that were added to that. So they also added a white balance uh, adjustment. Uh, on the last uh, app update uh, that we and, and, and they didn't tell us about it and I I'm kind of thinking that that's because they meant to uh, tell us about it uh, with this firmware update but that's when we upgraded to fly app version uh, 1.0.8 so if we go into camera settings here in the menu and then advanced shooting settings uh, there you can see uh, the white balance and so typically what I would do is set it on auto let the thing auto adjust go back to manual and see where it, it, it set it and then I would uh, leave it on manual and what that does for you is then the drone isn't always changing that white balance so that you have a consistent white balance throughout your uh, video so uh, that's just another uh, another manual setting that they gave to us. Okay, so I guess that's about it. Looks like we're uh, all updated here and uh, and ready to go for the next flight. I hope to get it up in the air and uh, try some of that stuff out and and see what these uh, some of these other things are about optimizing the remote controller performance and improved flight stability in some scenarios. This thing's a pretty stable flyer, so. Uh, We'll have to see what that what that means and the improved download speed for photos and videos uh, that's interesting as well and uh, as I said I know those manual settings are going to really be welcomed uh, by a lot of photographers so uh, it's good that DJI seems to be listening to us uh, you never know we may get uh, some kind of a follow me function uh, next Okay, so that is the uh, firmware update number uh, .0500 for the DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, I hope you've uh, found this useful. 
Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And we absolutely will see you on the next one. Bye now.